How you feeling steady with it? They say you ain't got it. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be installing a short shifter. I think it's a Billy Works one on a 22 WRX. And the WRX is not gonna be mine. It's gonna be uh, just Albert. But it's a serum right here. Uh, I already have one installed on mine. Um, I had a few issues on mine because I don't know. I kind of fucked it up when I was putting a shift stop, I believe, when I first got my car. So yeah, this this one should be way easier. I think when I did mine, it took about like three hours because I messed up, but it should probably take like an hour and a half. So let's get to it. And this is his car right here. Honestly, I honestly really love his car. It's a really clean build. It's coming along. This is the color I actually wanted, but I did not know they had for this year. But got the aeroflow kit. He had an exhaust, but I think he took it off, sold it, and he's gonna get the aeroflow one. So yeah, stay tuned for his build. So this is the stock one. Look how much play it has. Going in the first, way longer, and we'll go ahead and do the after. Let's just go ahead and do a cold start. Actually, it's not a cold start because I already kind of drove the car. Sorry, Albert. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this video. I'm gonna go ahead and park it in the driveway and jack her up and get started. So for starters, what I do, this off. I want to clean all this. Albert, clean your car next time. By the way, guys, I'm sponsored by JDM Muscle. Damn. Alright, first just pull that up. That should come right out. There we go. I'm gonna have to take off the shift knob. gonna have to remove this right here and then these clips that is holding I'm not sure what this is but you're gonna have to move these take these off and then we're gonna go underneath the car and I'll show you guys what to take off under there all right so it is going to be a 12 millimeter and then if you guys have a extension that'll be perfect so Go ahead and take that off. There you go. Should come out. Is that funny? Is that good content? Alright guys, so here is his What came with the box This is a short shifter right here See what color you got. Let's see what color you got. Oh, you got the blue one. That's hard. All right, there's that. I'm gonna keep the stickers though. And then I think this is a shift plate. You don't wanna open? My bad, bro. I kind of ripped the box. This is a shift. 
shift plate. All right. And here's how the stock one works. This one's for mine. So yeah, you can see a big difference. And then I think this is a bushing. Yeah, it is. Oh no, this is a shift stop. This is all the hardware. My boy loves teal. He even has a teal sticker of his Instagram. There's that. And I think this is the bushing. So for starters, we're gonna have to take off this heat shield. So start by doing these, and I believe it's a 10 millimeter, if not a 12. So go ahead and do that. And then for the shift plate, it's over here. And this is all on the, the passenger side of the transmission. But we'll go ahead and start doing the short shifter first and then we'll move on to the shift plate. Bro, I got that motherfucker. So you don't need to actually take it off, you just kind of like slide it. And then you guys will need to get in here. And I believe these are 10 millimeters. Let me just confirm real quick. Yeah, they are. off also need to remove these four one two three four I believe those are uh, 10 millimeters as well now once you get all those nuts off we're gonna go ahead and take off the the link and then i need to take both of these off so that right there that clip just go ahead and pull that out and it should just slide out and then on this one this one's pretty easy go slides right out this little clip pin whatever you want and then on the other one just slide it out and there you go and that should be it and then we're gonna go ahead and go back up and then fully remove those uh, four bolts up there all right so there's these two screws right here that you're gonna need to remove this one and this one that you could spread it open and get this uh, shifter out all right so first you guys are gonna need to remove this and just it just pops out like how this uh, how this did all right so go ahead and take out these screws right here that I showed you guys
stupid though. That's why I'm so good at this. There's that. Now you're able to kind of spread it apart. Then. Okay. Just go ahead and take out these screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. Alright, so once you guys got all of them out, you should be able to just pop it out. There's like a little clip, you just need to, there you go. There's that. slide right out and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do from here so once you get it out we're gonna need to go ahead and remove these now we could get to this and then on the other side remove these two and then this one that way you could just pull it out so I'll go ahead and show you guys step by step this is just the Phillips So for this side, go ahead and hold it with a 17 millimeter wrench. There you go. Should just slide out. that out so make sure you put everything back how it went slide right out there you go there's that right there all right so once you guys get it out we're gonna go ahead and remove these go ahead and pull it out make sure you remember how this goes and then from here You guys will need to remove this pin right here with the hole punch, and then you, this should slide off. All right, guys. So to take out that pin, I'm gonna use a 118 punch. I just got it from Harbor Freight, so. All right. So once you guys get it off, just go ahead and pull it out. We'll slide right out. And then you guys are gonna need to take this out. There you go. And then on that piece, you're gonna go ahead and put it on the other short shifter. Right, so once you guys get this back on, and make sure you guys add a little bit of grease. Go ahead 
ahead and take this off. Alright, so once you guys get that off, just slide it all the way out. Slide this back on. Make sure you guys put some some grease on it. And then go ahead and put everything back on it was. Make sure you slide everything back in. Just like that. Go ahead and slide this back in. Basically, just work backwards. tighten everything down and put it back in the car all right so to put it back on you have to just slide it So once you guys got everything in, just go ahead and put these bolts back in. Once I put everything back together, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install the shift stop. All right, guys, I'm basically just gonna put everything back how it was.
right, guys, I know it's kind of hard to see, but basically how I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, just put everything back. Once I get this done, I'll go ahead and show you guys the results. It's just a really hard angle to get to. But you just pelt it. Oh, you pelt just go on, go on to third. <laughs> Is that third? Yeah. Fourth. Hold on for the move it. All right, move it to the right. Like if you're gonna put it in reverse. Yeah. Right there. Hold on. Move it forward a little bit. No, forward, fool. Forward, forward. Alright. Now you're good. Let it go. Take it out of gear and put it in neutral. Alright, guys. So you guys might need help um, moving it because in order to put it back in the little pin. But I'll go ahead and show you guys. How it should look. All right. I don't know, someone messaged you? No. But you're shield back on can you put it back all right guys and that should be it for this I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install the shift stop Low boy problems. All right, for the shoe stop, take these off, and then there's one on the other side at the top. All right, guys, here's the shift stop. Now the way you guys adjust it, you guys could adjust it to your liking, but I'm gonna just do it how I did it on mine. You guys just kind of have to play with it, to be honest. What's that? What I do, I'll put it in fifth gear, put this as close to it, and then I'll put it in first, and then adjust it that way. And I give some space, that way it's not hard to get it in first. go just make sure it's tight but don't do it too tight unless you'll strip it like how i did on mine there you guys go that should be it oh that's x let's see the 
difference. How short it is. Cynthia and fucking. How? They never liked each other in the beginning. Let's go. I'm low key gonna drive his car, so sorry, Albert, but I gotta make sure it's good, you know? <laughs> Alright, so there it is, guys. There's Albert's short shifter. Man, look at the difference. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive. Check it out, bro. Sure, huh? And it doesn't stop like it stops over here, huh? Yeah. You don't have that much play anymore. Take for a drive? Yeah. That's a random random hit. Yeah. There you go. different yeah yeah there it is guys finish with the install All right, you have to be in it. Yeah, you know. So got got the short shifter install. Much better. No, don't don't come to him to install it though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just ran into a little issue, but it's all good. It's all good. There it feels, is. Feels good. Feels good. But thank you guys for watching. I don't know why my camera looks blurry, but see you guys on the next one. Described him as one of the most dangerous men on the face of the earth.